Hi, I'm Rabbi Michael Barclay here at Temple near Simcha in Westlake Village, California, with another Torah talk, insights into this week's Torah portion. This week's portion is told us, it's in the book of Genesis, and it's primarily about Isaac. It even says it's about Isaac and his generations, sons, Esau and Jacob, even his father, Abraham. And it's really important that we understand Isaac at a little bit deeper level. You know, we always pay attention to Abraham. He's got these great stories. This happens to him, that happens to him. Jacob has got these great stories. He wrestles with an angel, he changes his name. Isaac gets bypassed and overlooked way too often because Isaac is actually the master of mysticism. Isaac never leaves Israel or Canaan. Isaac understands meditation. We're taught he's such an amazing meditator that when his wife, Rebecca, first sees him, she's on her donkey, she sees him meditating, he's got this supernal glow around him, she falls off her donkey. Isaac is the quiet, powerful leader who has an inner vision. Remember, he's gone blind physically in the outer world, but his inner vision is second to none. And Judaism needs to remember, and we do remember traditionally, but we forget often here in the 21st century, that we honor and emulate those people who are B'nai Isaac, those leaders who are quieter, but powerful and all seeing. They see so much and they have joy and they really, really have knowledge and wisdom. In Judaism, you don't have to be loud to be a leader. You don't have to be successful to be a leader. You don't have to be charismatic or great speaker. Isaac gives us another model, the model of quiet strength, of power, of awareness, of sight. My prayer for all of us this week is that we allow ourselves to find our inner Isaacs, that part of ourselves that is strong and wise and quiet and subtle, because Isaac is a master of subtlety. I'm Rabbi Michael Barclay, your temple near Simcha. Shabbat Shalom.